Kelly O'Hara is coming back to Broadway for the first time since winning a Tony for The King and I. She'll play put-out actress Lily Vanessi in Kiss Me Kate. Here she offers an exclusive lesson and her first interview about this new stage venture. You're coming back to Broadway yeah. in, in another classic, classic Broadway musical role, right? I mean, you yeah. are tackling a lot of the classics in your career. You know, I've tried not to do two in a row like this ever. But right, try to do a, new and then, and then a, But yeah. this is a, this one just this fell this way, and I'm, I'm glad. Without you, my arms fall. This song in particular is so beautiful and sexy. It's like one of the sexiest love songs, right? I mean, that's kind of how I feel about it. It feels like she's she's really taking control of how she feels and admitting it mm -hmm. and being okay with it and kind of saying that it's not easy, but God, I gotta have it. You know, it's nice. Yeah, she's singing about her ex-husband, obviously mm. Lily singing about him, and it's kind of early in the show, and you realize like, oh, she is. Yeah. So in love. Yeah, she's still pining. Sometimes two people really tiny, kind of put each other through the ringer, mm. and they, they're just, they're magnets for each other. They get back together, and that's kind of how they are. Mm -hmm. And I like that she kind of shows her underbelly right then in the beginning, so that we know she's human and, and full of fire about him. Haunt me, taunt me. I love, I mean, the lyrics yeah. are so great. It is, it is yeah. a sexy song. I like that you think that. In her 18 years on the Broadway stage, Kelly O'Hara has risen to become one of the biggest stage stars of her generation. Her latest project is the Cole Porter musical comedy classic Kiss Me Kate, playing Lily Vanessi, a vain actress forced to partner up with her ex-husband to star in a touring production of The Taming of the Shrew. So in Love is obviously a very lush romantic song, but this score is actually really, really bouncy. And the character, the, this is sort of her most romantic, dramatic moment, but there's a lot of comedy. She's larger than life. Of course, I want to try to put every bit of humanity uh, that I can into her. I want to really get inside their love story and how they were as a couple when they were married and why they, they're both still hanging on, because obviously they are. Um, I don't want it to be about two egotistical kind of combating actors. Mm -hmm. I actually don't want to throw actors under the bus here. Right. I, I want to really talk about the human beings and the good human beings mm -hmm. they are, but they're in a moment. The last Broadway staging of Kiss Me Kate in 1999 starred Brian Stokes Mitchell and Maren Maisie, the musical theater icon who lost her battle with ovarian cancer in September. My real history with it, the one that comes to heart, my heart right away is that I saw it 20 years ago with yeah. Maren. The idea of doing it right now is even more special to me because when I left, the King and I, she came in mm -hmm. and she was such a, she's such a hero of mine. I mean, the one of the first shows I ever saw was Ragtime with Maren Maisie. Yep. And so kind of now turning circles here and stepping into what she was so brilliant at doing and paying homage to her. Yeah, the whole community is grieving Maren Maisie and this was definitely one of her great, oh, yeah. her great turns. I mean, I can see her in my mind and her hair flying out the windows and throwing mm -hmm. things and she was just so spunky and energetic. And um, I want to find, of course, my own take on it. Uh, and I think she would want me to. Mm -hmm. But just the idea of doing it uh, helps me honor her in some way. O'Hara spent her summer making her London stage debut in The King and I, reprising the performance that won her a 2015 Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical. The lavish production, filmed on stage at the London Palladium, will hit movie theaters on November 29th. I'm proud that we recorded it because I think it was beautiful. The sets looked, the, the theater kind of looked like the grandness of the sets. It, it all fit together so beautifully. And we just had a, it was a good company and I felt like I was doing something new even though it was, a, it was something I had, mm -hmm. I, it was, felt very different to do it in 2018 than it had in 2015 mm -hmm. in many ways. The King and I also reunited O'Hara with friend Ruthie Ann Miles. 
taking on the part of Lady Thiang, which won her a Tony on Broadway, just months after surviving the accident that killed her young daughter and unborn baby. What was it like reconnecting with her and watching her do the performance and getting on stage? Um, it was beautiful. I'm, you know, I think Bart Shear kind of really forced her in a way, I mean, she, you know, to, to just get up and come. Mm -hmm. And she did. And uh, I'm sure it wasn't easy, but she did and she showed up and she was gorgeous. You said you don't really like plot out your career. Are there moments where you're like, wow, I just want to sort of live in the joy of something like this? Exactly. You want to challenge yourself all the time to do a lot of different things. I find myself right now in my life in particular um, trying to take hold of my career a little bit and do more television and film. Mm -hmm. And in those things, I play very dark. I play mothers of 13 Reasons. I played mm -hmm. a mother who had lost a daughter to, to suicide. Yeah. I'm doing those things. I'm reaching into that part of my soul. Um, I had a very heavy summer, yeah. you know, um, the, the idea that I'm going to go and do musical comedy for a while is actually not just a career move, it's going to be a, an emotional move that is, is good for my soul. When she takes to the stage of Studio 54 next February, O'Hara will be reunited with Will Chase as Fred Graham. They first performed Kiss Me Kate together at a 2016 benefit concert for Roundabout Theatre Company. I just laugh anytime Will Chase walks into the room. Because well, he's so ridiculous looking. He's just ugly just... and stupid and, <laughs> and not funny. And we, we have a great time together. We've worked together many times now. And we've done it for one night, like you said. And so we kind of, we know we have the chemistry, we know the energy. Mm -hmm. And it felt worthy of doing it on the stage for a, for a short run and so uh, Studio 54 you know uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be fantastic and I hope a little breath of fresh air I can't wait I'm, I'm starting the deep breaths right now <laughs>